All right, welcome everyone. Today we've got old Rick Hunter from the rest of the world's a Macross saga. For an 80s kid, it was just Robotech. The helmet does come off with some consideration, com convincing. <laughs> and he doesn't really look like Rick. And I don't remember Rick ever using an Uzi. <laughs> but, uh, and the proportions seem weird on this one, but this was one of those things where, you know, I was an 80s kid and Robotech was just the most awesome thing ever. They do have swivel arm battle grip. Knees work. And this one is actually really tight on the 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 guts, I guess you'd call it. There, there is, he ain't got no slack like the G.I. Joe, Joe's did. Uh, helmet looks a little bit rough, worse for wear. So let's see, if, let's see if any of that smudging will come off. I don't know. Oh yeah. I think that's his hair is worn off on the inside. The biggest part of the the, that dirt in there. <laughs> but he, but the actual character itself is appears to be clean. That sort of, <laughs> I don't. I guess just something about the material on this one attracted dirt. It is more rubbery than the action figure action figures. <laughs> Maybe a wipe down around his face. So he doesn't really look at all like the, the character from the show. <laughs> uh, and the proportions are weird on there too. You know, got the legs. You know, it's like I don't, I don't know who made these. I think actually, I think Matchbox made them. Is what I was reading. I've got the got the copyright on there, and they can't. And Roman numerals made in Japan. Can't really. Yeah, there's too much glare and contrasting colors there to <laughs> decipher it. But a little bit of dirt there. But uh, like I say Rick, Rick Hunter was to me really cool. I, li I liked I, that. I think maybe Speed Racer came first as far as the ones I, the. Japanese shows I saw, but Robotech was the one that really opened my eyes to what it was. And of course, over here they sort of took the different, they sort of shoehorned. <laughs> it was a the the, the the Macross. There was three series of them that were not related originally that they sort of shoehorned story in together about it. But that, you know, but otherwise, this is the I've got one of the Robotech figure, but it's not. Like I say, it's not related to the Macross. It was the one of the other ones I can't remember. It's Scott, I think, is his name. Is the motorcycle guy. <laughs> but that's Rick Hunter from Robotech. Ah, uh, thanks for watching. I got some, I got some movie stuff coming up later this week. I'm, I'm sort of definitely one-off things that I don't foresee. I say, I, that I know I don't have anything else so, to go with. Like I say, I'm going to knock out some of that this week. But uh, I'm having fun with it. If you're digging what I'm doing, make sure and subscribe because it's going to keep going. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye.